This video is going to take you through conducting a lactate threshold test as well as a via to max test. First, as you can see, you need to get your participant to complete the health screen questionnaire. Make sure you check there's nothing that prevents them from exercising. Also, that they have eaten prior to the test. Once you are happy, then you can sign and date the form. Then you need to take their height and weight to be able to input it into the Metasoft software. Remember height and weight needs to be in kilograms and centimetres. The setup and calibration is shown in part one video. So here we're just going to concentrate on the test itself. So put some gel onto the heart rate monitor on the electrodes and ensure it's the electrodes and not the central part. And then you place the heart rate monitor over the xiphoid process on the chest and make sure that it's tight enough so it doesn't fall down but it's not too tight to constrict their chest. And also make sure the electrodes are flat on the skin. Depending on the shape of the participant's chest, this sometimes can be an issue. Then check the heart rate monitor is picking up the heart rate. Once it's picked it up, secure the heart rate monitor to somewhere where the participant can't see it, but you can. We then need to set up the height of the uh, cyclogometer, the height of the seat. So we generally say that um, we height, put the seat to where the hip is. So when they're on the bike, there's a slight flex in the knee. So you can see here when the participant gets on the bike, they check the height and there's just that slight flex in the knee. Next, if you're going to be doing a lactate threshold test, you need to prepare the blood tray for your resting sample. So you make sure you're wearing a lab coat, you've got your goggles, you've got your gloves on, do not roll your sleeves up like me. Um, you've got your little tray, get your um, tube out, prepare your lancet, get the alcohol wipe out. You also need to have labelled your Eppendorf tube and then you're ready to go. So the first thing is you're going to wipe the finger with an alcohol wipe. Then you prepare to get the lancet, you push the lancet down on the tip of the finger. Get your tissue and your tube and you're going to push some blood and wipe the first lot of blood away. This means that you get rid of any lactate, any dirt. Then you fill the, lactic, the, the tube with the blood and ensure that there's no um, bubbles in the tube. Then you put the tube into the Eppendorf of the solution and you shake it until it's mixed into the solution. And now this is ready to be analysed. Next, get your participant to do 10 minute warm up. So start the clock to get them to warm up. You can then go away and analyse your resting sample whilst they're just doing a gentle warm up. First of all, you would need to turn the machine off standby, so the button at the bottom right hand corner. You also need to go and get a standard solution from the fridge in the blood lab. So it's one of these red or orange tubes, whichever colour you think it is, into standard one. And this then takes a calibration and it's ready to go. So you put your sample into the number one slot on the machine. If you've got more, you can put, put more on. And then you just click go and the machine starts to analyse for blood lactate and also blood glucose. You then go back and hopefully by now your warm up is almost complete and now you can get ready to start the test. So make sure you've found the mask that best fits your participant so that no air comes out when it's on. Connect the flow sensor and the gas sample line. 
and then we put a bit of tape to secure the flow sensor to ensure that it doesn't fall out when they're cycling. It then is placed over the nose and mouth of the participant and you use the hairnet to fix it. Make sure that it's tight and no gas escapes. Once this is done, you are ready to go and you can take one more blood lactate sample as your post warm up sample. Same procedure as before, use the alcohol wipe, prick the finger, take a blob of blood, wipe it away and then collect your blood in the glass tube. Remember to try and keep the tube slightly angled down to, for the gravity to help it go up the tube. You go to the um, software on the computer and you click on start and the start is the green triangle on the top line on the screen. Before we start the test we have to take an ambient gas sample for calibration again. So you take the sample line out of the flow sensor and you leave it in the air and the, gas cal uh, the air cal calibration occurs. Again it's that same concept that you've got to wait for that line, straight lines to go across the screen before it accepts it. Once it's ready, you then click the sample line, put the sample line back into the flow sensor and the recordings start occurring. So the data starts being collected. It's now automatically being saved to the participant that you've selected. So now you're ready to go. So you count your participant, three, two, one, go. They start exercising and you should see that the gas, the VO2, the VCO2 starts appearing on the screen. If you're doing a lactate threshold test, every three minutes you, or every four minutes you put a weight onto the monarch to increase the intensity. If you're just doing a VO2 max test, it might be every minute, but you need to decide on your protocol prior to, to the test. And then just before the, the uh, weight is increased, ask them their RPE and make a note of all the results. You can see on the screen here that the gases have all increased and it's getting close to completion. Once you've finished, press the red stop button at the top and the test is completed. Make sure you take the mask off the participant quite quickly so that they can breathe and help them recover and get them then to start pedalling gently to help them cool down once you've collected your blood sample. Here, just click close in the box and then you're ready to analyse the data. It will always ask this about the maximal load. If it's a VO2 max test, press yes. If it's a lactate threshold test, press no. Then you go to reports, uh, so calculate VO2 max and you can find out their VO2 max data from the graph. Here you can see it was 37 mils per kilogram per minute. So to export it to Excel, click on test, then go to export and then click spreadsheet interface. This then takes you to a screen. If you look at your parameters on the right hand side, you'll see these are the parameters that you have exported to Excel. Click export and it opens up in your Excel spreadsheet. And that's your data.